today. She thought I could have a few margaritas before this. <laughs> See how I perform. I decided to leave my margarita there or I would be in trouble. <laughs> Dear friends and family, it's so very nice of you all to be here. I really appreciate your support to celebrate one more year, successful year for a Rotary Club. I have to say that for years I attended social Rotary events with my husband and even though I was fond of Rotary, I never imagined that one day I will be part of this great organization. I never even dreamed that I could be president of Rotary. This has been wonderful, a very rewarding experience and I have to thank somebody here, Beverly, for convincing me to join Rotary. I am very, very happy, very honored to be in Rotary. I really love Rotary. We, I find to be a Rotarian, it is a true privilege. To be part of the 1.2 million of people who believe in service above self, who work hard with determination, knowing that they are making a difference, that they will make our world a better place for all. As most of you know, we just came back from the RI convention, and we met with about 35,000 community Rotarians. It was amazing, but to me, the most inspiring thing was talking to people from different parts of the world, and hearing in their voices their joy, the empathy, they were so excited about the projects they were working on. They all had that desire that they knew they were helping, even if it was this little bit, they were making a difference. I really think that's wonderful. If you think how lucky we are in our lives, how many blessings do we have? There are so many people out there that they really lack the bare necessities. So it is really special when we can work together and just give back to our community and to the world a little bit of our lucky luck. Um, the incoming president, Tanaka, he talks about peace through service. In order to have peace, you need more than the absence of war. You have to have some basic things. You have to have food. You have to have clean water. You have to have a bit of safety. So we as Rotarians, our goal is to work to build peace. Just look at how many things we have done. With our hot dogs and frying onions and selling poinsettias with Harvesting Hope, we have worked hard, had a good last. But we have done, like Evelyn said, so many projects. We have helped in our community. We have, we're helping bring literacy. We help build Jenny's place. We have helped in international projects too. I mean, we just finished building a kindergarten in a small poor village in Mexico, giving them proper bathrooms, clean water, and a safe environment for many children. The lease is so long. And let's don't forget Donna's accomplishment. She very, very much deserved her award. She has worked all year more than that, with huge determination to preserve the culture of our First Nation people. She's done an amazing job, and we're very lucky to have you in our club. And another thing we all have to remember, polio. How many children have been inoculated because of our contribution to polio? Now, as you all know, we are this close, but the battle is not over. From here to zero, means that we all have to give it a hundred percent because if we're not careful, that little bit could expand again. We are down to three countries and RI is really working on what they call the emergency plan. We have to conquer that goal. I brought a little friend here, which I'm going to laugh at, but my little friend, which was provided to me by Jason, <coughs> Miss Polly, is going to sit in our meetings, so it's going to help you lose some weight. Of your pockets. Miss <laughs> 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 Polly. And she's Polly. adorable. And she could be very nice. She will be nice and fat at the end of the year. <laughs> and then we'll have a little ceremony at the end of the year and we'll open it and see how much we've raised. 
I intend to bring into all our hot dog meetings. By the way, I brought it to Toastmasters and everybody came over and put money inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have many plans for next year in working on it. I don't want to get into detail. That will do it on a regular club session. But we are going to be working in local projects to help the people in our community. We are poor, not as lucky as we are. I definitely have a strong focus on literacy because by bringing literacy we can prevent hopefully people to be in the streets and we can give them a better chance. We're also working in another international project and I hope to continue supporting the Malawi School of Girls. Just think of the girls we have supported and we have given them <coughs> a dream. Now they can go to school, they can become somebody and they can help other young women in their community to get out of their very non-pleasant situation and change their lives. So I really ask R.I. President Banner to say, the power of one multiplies. One plus one can make eleven. The power of one multiplies. When two or more committed individuals join together, working hard, reaching within and across the border to embrace humanity. And we have been doing that. And we can do even more. We're going to work together and we're going to have a lot of fun reaching our goals. This is a great time to be in Rotary. Our eye is not stuck in the old ways. As this pin says, this is the time of change. Our eye is embracing new generations. It's looking for better ways to help the needs in the world. They're also is building up some strategic partnerships with organizations outside Rotary just to be able to meet further missions, humanitarian missions, like World Health Organization, um, what is it, Mercy Ships, the Aga Khan University. So there is a time for good change. Well, whether it is cooking hot dogs, sharing some laughs, or reaching into the community, I am really, really looking forward to another amazing year. I am very proud and honored to be your president. And I know with the, your support and the awesome board of directors, we are going to have a great, another great year. And remember, we have the power. So, thank you. Thank you very much, Amy. So.